Hello and welcome to Ryan's Family Amusement. Um, we have a A level A division matchup between Rob Linehan and Chris Parkinson underway here. Uh, five strings, two points per game, four for total for total pins. Both bowlers on their second match. Well, if you just join us, Rob Linehan throwing first. Lefty delivers. A little bit left on the two pin, drop seven. Has a decent look at the one three. Ten. A little left. Maybe tap on that head pin, but he'll be shooting for ten. And Mark Field resident will take a nine. To start things. First ball in the second box. Again, the five step approach. And again, on the two pin, this time the half Worcester. Still seven pins standing with the third ball coming up. Linhan was uh, defeated, shut out actually, last week by Justin Waters. Tremendous 675 game. Roberts scored in the mid, mid 500s. Eight on that one, 17 through two. Format today, Dan Castle's joints. Format today, uh, five boxes at a time. Each bowler, um, beginning with Rob Linhan, the home bowler, has chosen bowl first. And he's on the two pin again. This time, gets a beautiful break. Down to the nine pin. Three pieces of wood out front. You can see a little bit on the pin cam there. And on the second rotation, the spare is good. 27 of the ball through three for Linehan. Two time outrun the Bear champion 2018. And the bill drops eight. 35. Been bowling since he was four years old. His parents actually met at a bowling alley. Oh, just right on the two pinner. Five and eight remaining. Went ahead open in the fourth. We'll take nine, 44. His opponent, Chris Parkinson, today's way bowler. Uh, in his first season of the ACST. He's put up his high five this summer. Both bowlers uh, participated in the Millis Summer Leagues. And uh, Chris, uh, coming down the stretch, put up a 684. Linehan is facing three. That's the one and the two in front of the nine. He'll be open in the fifth, so start that five off. And that will be 52. Side for Linehan. And uh, Dan, Hello. I see you've joined us. Uh, you want to do the play by play for a couple? Yeah. For uh, Chris Parkinson stepping up now on lane 15. All right, we have. Here on lane 15, we have Chris Parkinson. First ball, he is on the head man. Drops eight. Leaves the two and the, or the three and the, the uh, six pounds, right? Backwards today. On a spare shot, and oh. he's on it. It looked a little, little risky there for a second, but he, he got it. On a fill. In the pocket, a little light, but he drops eight, leaves a 7 10 split. And those of you who don't watch, regularly watch Candle Pin, you know that this is an impossible intention, but sometimes we get a new candle pin. On the red line, and he oh. takes out 
about the 10 pin? I kind of thought that might work. Yeah, not the one I was expecting to stand up after that. Split that, skidded that double wood straight across. The 10, and he took the wood just right. That was a dangerous move because he, uh, I thought the wood, he might cap that and that might deflect the ball off. Through two. In the third box, he's on the left hand head, on the left hand pocket, leaves the six and the nine pin. Three head pins in a row for Parkinson. Here we go for the spin. And a little light on the six pin, and it doesn't take out the nine. is a nine, so after three boxers, Chris is at 37 and Rob is at 35. Both these bowlers are, are uh, closely matched. I bowled against both of them. And they're tough to beat, let me tell you. They're, they're, they're actually both uh, two-time winners of the Outrun Bear uh, title, the scratch and doubles in both cases. Parkinson had a uh, 117 average uh, during the summer. League. He was hot. He was hot. Was just, just about mentioning he, he threw a sit in his high, high five, 684. So he just uh, had the four horsemen and came in on the two pin, just took out the middle two, going for the one seven, and he picks it up nice and clean, deflects the ball over to the seven pin. So after four, he's at 47 to Rob's 44. And in the fifth box, it's coming up on the first ball. Coming in left to right on the three pin, even the four horsemen again. And for those of you who are curious, he's throwing 36 miles an hour out of his hand and 31.4 miles an hour on the pin cam. It rides with a speedometer. Left on the spare. Sorry. Yep. Um, so ball, his ball's sitting down five miles an hour between his hand and this. And the, so he's left with the one four seven, and uh, he's going for the one. Um, he picks up just one, leaves two. So after five, he is at fifty five to Rob's fifty two. And uh, I was always curious what he, how he was going to go for that because uh, traditionally you're supposed to just go for the two and uh, take a nine. But uh, I'm often tempted and. Obviously, Chris was to try to take all three, but the risk is you get just one, and that's what happened. You know, the two pinner only goes 51 percent of the time, too, though, Dan. It's like no means guaranteed, but you do get one pin more often. Linehan in the pocket. He'll take uh, eight on his first, but uh, has a split. Eight, ten. Piece of wood on a tee that might work for him. Let's see. The lefty can't get the wood to move, so he'll be open in the six. Three-pin lead for Parkinson after the first half here. And Rob will take nine. Fish 61. Rob's high single is 174. Talk about the colors being similar. An eight drop on that one. Two four remain. That's a good chance. Um, Chris Parkins, the size single is 176. Just a uh, uh, pair uh, left. So, my hands. Missed a, missed a couple of those. Um, yeah, damn. So, one of the great mysteries in league bowling with Rob. Is exactly how many steps does Rob take on his approach? That's right. And uh, we've counted six, we've counted five. Not, not ever quite sure. He's got, he's got a unique approach that's actually quite effective. That was five that time. Pull on the head pin down to the double pinnacle with wood on both sides. Tough chance there. Yeah, it's a tough shot. I, obviously, he's going to have to play the wood. It's a decision which side to go. I might play the way. I don't know. The lefty releases the ball down 
right in front of the uh, of the four pin. So he gets a lot of swing on that uh, on a left to right swing. And uh, sometimes, sometimes that's the way you've got to do that because it's, the, wood, the wood is inclined to just uh, push it straight through. So uh, sometimes it's just not set up for you. So after eight drops at eighty, going into the ninth box. There's there's a breakup for it. Box nine leaves a ten pin standing alone. Or the spare. spare. Picks it up nice and clean. Spare in the night. Now on the fill. And he picks up seven. Is that ten, seven pin going to go? No. One, two, and seven left. A little guiding wood in the back. It's going to go! It's going to go! He shook it! He steals it, uh, misses the head pin entirely. Wood came back and just nudged it. And uh, yeah, Rob was on the two pin there, but he hit it on so fine, so thin, that it actually, I guess it moved the, there was wood over there, grabbed the head pin, and an eight fill on that one on the 11th rack. So that's like, that's going to be a 115. That was a big spare. I was. <laughs> hey, Rob, what's your current average? 112. 112. Okay, 112. Okay, so uh, he's given five pins, but uh, this is scratch. All right, Chris Parkinson now has to has to match with a 60 side. Start. If that goes, yep, the five fell late. Oh, come on. And more tumbling. Uh, just the four pin remains for Parkinson. That's a big break. Yeah, that, that four, five, seven is a uh, about as hard as, as spare is good for Parkinson. It's about as hard as the spread eagle, really. I, I don't have good numbers on it, but it, it is definitely in simple digits on the conversion rate. Right? Well, that's even with I, wood. Even with wood. That's why I'm pushing to call it the castle. I get it a lot, and I almost <laughs> never get the spare, and I hate it. Well, it looks a little bit like castling in chest. Parkinson on the bonus, again on the head pin, a little thin. Sends one high and left off the wall for, for uh, the check mark. That's the favorite leaf up. Six on the bonus, though. Puts him at 71. And he, you know, those, those are converted to about, about 36, 36 to 4 horsemen. I think that one's a 40 percenter. Yeah, 38%. And I'll take nine there. That was in the channel. So 80, Parkinson 80 through 7 is 10 over, needs to get to 15 over to, to catch Linehan. Has three boxes to do it. 35 pins. At least one spare. Right down the middle on the left side. Five and nine remain. A little bit of wood. Does it help? Does it hurt? I don't know. Play the wood in this body? I think it's two things. I don't know. Let's see what he does. He plays on the side and it is. It reached. I was worried it wouldn't reach that five pin. Parkinson. You can see it. Yeah, I, I wasn't looking at the pin cam though. Maybe it was there. <laughs> yeah. Third spare for Parkinson. Now looking for a big fill. Um, he gets it. Well, on the head pin for seven. 97. Right. And a split. He needs 18 to ties. 19 to win in the next two. The mark, of course, of clinching. Just the one. Okay. Big third ball coming up. 19 for the win. 18 for the tie. Good pin in, and he might get if he kicks that one, which he does for the 10. That is huge for the, for the string. 107 means he needs nine to win now in the 10. Yeah, that kept him from beating a spare. Okay. Chris gets great action. 
even on a shot that's off like that. That, that one was fucking 32 and a half at the, at the head. Game. Or I should say the uh, four there. Down the middle, and that's a spare. Okay, total still in play. Parkinson wins match one. We're going five strings. Total's worth four points. Parkinson takes two right off the bat. And he had to hit that just perfectly with the spare. Yeah, there was no mark. How many head pins? And he had head, head pins on eight. There, there's eight. Yeah, geez. That's a, so that's going to be 125, a 10 pin lead. Let's check that on the official score. 125, 115. That is true. Linehan, our home bowler, has chosen to go, chosen to bowl first. He'll be uh, back on lane 15. Back on the head pin. There you go. Eight drop down to five and nine. Shot. Beautiful pocket shot. Yeah, he came right into the pocket on that. Five eight, or, yeah, five nine left. And he goes wide. That's the difference, just a couple of those. And a you know, match between bowlers of this uh, capability, a missed shot like that could be a huge difference at the end of the game. And he ends up with a nine box. Opposite pocket and drops nine. Yeah, five to fill. A little bit late. Beautiful. 32 miles an hour out of his hand. Down. Nice and clean. Didn't touch the wood at all. Yeah. Picks up the spare. Rob releases it right. That's why he normally releases the ball, whether he's throwing it the head pin or the uh, seven pin. Just changes his angle. And he controlled his uh, natural hook uh, very well now because a lot of times that, that left to right hook hitting the seven pin gets to be very tough. And he drops six in the spare, leaves another check mark, which he told us uh, while Chris was bowling was his favorite lead. Let's see if that holds true. 25 for two. Oh! And he just picks one pin. Got hit the two pin. Maybe not so much. <laughs> leaves the uh, two five seven. Moves some pins around, leaves the five for another nine box. Thirty-four after three. And the fourth box. Again in the pocket. I'm counting five steps there. Man. Five today. Looks like usually five. I, I thought I saw four once. He kind of has a little stutter step at the beginning. Keeps his heels on the. Uh, Way in the back, 15 feet away. There it is. And a mark in the fourth. 44 and a ball after four. Or Rob, everybody's going to be watching these steps now. That's right. Oh, he's the road runner. Right? I think that was a four. No stutter step to the end that then. Chris, Chris, Chris says he's a five. Yeah, five step at the bowl too. Chris right? is five yeah. step, yeah. Um, so he drops seven in a fill for 51 after four. He's got a nasty little split there. And he picks oh up my a square. What a Beautiful shot. shot. One, eight, ten. Beautifully done. Gets 61 and a ball after five. Very good half. Right. So Chris Parkinson, who I think had eight out of ten hit pins, plus one on his uh, tenth string fill. Right there, back on it again. There's a head pin. Seven, eight, nine, and six pins. Yeah. Not a happy leave after a ball like that. The wood gives him a small chance. Um, he works it around on the uh, six pin, but he's also got a, he's, he's got a piece of the two. And it uh, deflected behind the seven pin. But that was a great effort on that one. Yeah. He's right on, right on his target there. 
Nine in the first for Parkinson. He keeps throwing in the pocket like that. We're going to see some nice strikes here. There's no way around that. Parkinson wearing his nothing to lose jersey. The team that he played on against uh, Rob Lillian last year. Like, they're telling me what they did last night, and I'm like, yeah, you know. Another head pin. This one thin, and he's got the diamond in one. Diamond's fronted by the two pin. Tried to get something over, and didn't quite go. So he's on the two and one. Up against the spare in this box. In there. Nicely done nine. So Chris is 18 after two versus Rob at 25 after two. At this point, Rob has an early one. First ball in the third. Parkinson. Three head pins in a row this time. Nine drop down to the four pin. And it's covered with the. Uh, what do you call that one? I, I, I always call those candy bars. You got some big, big oh, shoes for like that. for sure. Yeah. I call it a call it a barn door. <laughs> we the ball we don't mind. We don't mind. I'm actually kind of amazed that that pin didn't go for a strike. It was shaking. <laughs> Say since uh, this spring, when they had the outrun the fair, I want to say last May, um, they cleaned all the pins. And, and, and that, yeah, just really I, I don't know if you yeah. sanded them down, but you scrubbed them down with steel. And the, just cleaning those pins, <laughs> cleaning the plates, made this place so much faster. I think my pins faster for me. Well, that and they just a few weeks ago cleaned the approaches. That's right. So they look great. It's a little adjustment for the bowlers because right after the clean, they're a little bit slick. And he drops eight on the fill. Rare yeah. miss on the head pin, but not, not a bad outcome. That brings him a lot closer. He's at 36 after three. Actually puts him ahead of Rob. He's at 34 after three. Then he's up against two stairs here. Uh, by oh, oh, beautifully done. One, nine. No wood. You gotta hit that one. That's right. Yeah. I, this ball moving right, right to left like that. He, he wasn't. He wasn't gonna. Hit. It wasn't even the ball that took it. Yeah, he took it, took it with the pin. Now he's going for a big fill here. Right there. Slight oh. head pin, yeah. Leaves five, takes five. So 50, now they're tied up 51 after four each. With the bundle of five there, the hay bale. Right there. Oh. No, it didn't go. He was on it. Just a little thin. One pin and a ball. So he gets a nine box for a 60 half. Rob's coming up with 61 and a ball. He's on the floor. So you talk about the odd spot. And uh, Monday night, I have to tell you, I, I actually got a spread eagle on a strike. Oh, really? Spread eagle with a nine pin. So it's a spread eagle plus one. And I didn't expect to, but I actually picked up the spare. You picked up the spare? I got it. There's so, no video of that. Oh, uh, sorry. I'll, yeah. I'll probably never do it again. Are, I've got two in my hand. What, list. the spread eagle? Spread eagle plus a nine pen. On a, on a, and it was in a fill on a spare. I, I had the spread eagle. Yes. I, I, I was filming when I, Rob was uh, captain of my team at the time. I made the, oh. I made the spread eagle. So four I on the fill for sixty-five pounds. Well, that was a curious situation because um, I had three on one side and the four on the other, and I had to debate whether I go for the four for the fill. Or I thought maybe if oh, I yeah. hit the three, I could kick it over and, and pick up at least one extra pin, and, and well, it went. I couldn't believe it. That's beautiful. Hey, look at this one. Look at that. What a shot. Wow. How about that for a three and one? The three and one brings a pin over for a ten box. A Seventy-five after six. So one hand. We finished one fifteen in the first. Is fifteen over through six right now. 
That's going. It's going in, and it's gone. Oh Seven is the last of all. He had a ball five of the bundle there, and uh, the pin came off the right side and uh, just played dominoes with him. Well, it's a good thing Paul's not here. He'd probably call a delay again. But a strike wow. is a strike no matter how long it takes. And the bonus overshoots the head pin. Grabs three. 88. Now he's got another ball to go. See if oh, right. That's right. How about that? Well, he doesn't clean him up. He's got another mark. So 10 fill on that strike. For 95. And a three. Eight. Seven. Eight. He's at 105 and a ball in the eighth. Even while I was calling that strike. And another check mark for Rob. A six fill gives him 111 after eight. And another spare opportunity. That's the one. And he gets it. Three in a row. Use the wall for the seven pin. Grab the triangle first. The four pin, use the wall, and hit the seven. And that is three marks in a row. Back on the head pin again. A nice eight fill. Gives him 129 after nine. And we have another uh, spare opportunity. He goes off to the left a little bit, takes out one. So now he's going for the 10 on a single hit. That's good. And he gets a 10, 139 for his second game. I believe the only pin Rob left standing was the nine in the first. Oh, what? You are correct on that. Otherwise, it was oh. no, no, there was a, a nine in no. the third, so two, two pins left standing. Yeah. Now Chris needs an 80 half. And he's capable of doing it. I've had him throw those at me before. He just took a little tour down. Uh, I did not think that strike was going. Though. Definitely did not think that strike was going. And, uh, that was a good great thing. attempt on the, spread, on the um, half blister. And uh, this pointing seven, nine, ten left for, to try to make for a ten bucks. And he picks up an eight. Sixty-eight after six. Oh, then the other one. You missed the first string. Parkinson uh, won one twenty-five, one eighteen with the pair of marks. Oh, come on. And once again, uh, Chris's uh, exemplary pin action that he gets uh, really paid off there. He was off to the left quarter bit, dropped eight, the pins just kept moving. Right there. Okay. And a spare and a seven. He's going to need some more marks here, but that's the way you do that. Six spares and a spread. Three so far. Parkinson. Spares, that is. And how did the seven make it through that? That looked like a strike ball was heading down the lane to me. But uh, he takes out seven for 85 after seven to Linehan's 95. He's down 10. Okay, that helped a little. Ah. That, but uh, it was the uh, seventh. Seventh box is when the Linehan picked up that strike down there. So, and then, and then I, of course, the uh, three fill he had was uh, huge, huge for his uh, 139 game. Ten in the so 95 eight. for Chris after eight boxes. Uh, so Rob's only 11 at this point. So he needs to mark out at least. And speaking of spread eagles, there it is. How do you, how do you play him? I mean, you, you're talking about when you have a three and a four, you, you're... I go left side first, yeah. Okay. I'm not as good of a bowler as either one of these guys, but uh, that's where I go. Well, skip oh, step, perfect. It's going to be, well, not perfect, definitely, but very close to perfect. And the typical best outcome you're going to get out of that is a 10 box. Yeah, 20% oh, of uh, professional bowlers convert uh, tens when they start with the there And there's one of them. Chris Kennedy's at 105 after nine. 
chance for a Bravo to win this match, even if there's triple strikes. Yep. So, yeah, you know, on the spread eagle, you got to think the field is going to get spread eagles. Six and a half percent of the time, one or the other, you know, one of the variants, you know, the talent and things. Head pin shot from Parkinson. Here's one of our favorites. Is this the castle, Dan? This is uh, one of the two versions of it. Okay. Uh, but, but uh, yeah, I say about the spread eagles, you're, you're, you're playing against the field averaging 8.3 if you're in a professional field. So when you get the sleeve, there's always a piece of wood. Oh, he did it! And he did it. He picks it up. And what I was going to say before he the ball was that the, the, um, <laughs> the wood was uh, relatively favorably positioned, and it actually seemed to work that time. That doesn't happen very often. Usually I find the wood is in front of the two of them. Hey, Parkinson on the 11th rack. Drops a, drops a, a strike. Hammer. Another 125. 125 for Chris. Twice. Match now square. Two, two apiece. That brings us within four pins of Linehan's total. Dan, why don't you uh, carry on with the commentary while I fix the scoreboard up for the third right, string. Well, uh, Rob play uh, position right now, and uh, Rob is up to start the third game. Nice pocket shot, and the ball threatened to take out the five pin, but it didn't. So he got all the pins around the king pin, but the king is left standing. No bars. And nicely picked up clean for a spare in the first box for Rob Linehan. In the fill. And Rob's off on the two pin, drop six. That's a one, three, seven, nine. And the wood there behind those two front pins is quite interesting to me. I don't know if it'll work to take out the nine, but let's see. And Rob, yes. Rob misses the head pin, so he picks up three out of the four. Object, object, object. And Rob is saying you always got to hit the object. Bullard is Buller, in the 110 to 120, typically are in the, in the uh, low 60s in their object rate. He leaves a nine. Leaves a head pin. Twenty-five after two. And get off the left. And four horsemen plus a seven. That's the post. I, I always called it the four horsemen in the post. I just started calling it the post. The oh. in the it is kind of redundant. And uh, light on the head pin, takes out two more. He's left with the 6, 10, and 7. 6, 7, 10, or however, however you want to put the order of the pins. You got two on one side, but one on the other. Oh, that, that would have been tragic if that had been uh, for the spare. You got, you got that wood zip in front of two. But, it, but you still you still have to aim for the middle of those of those uh, pieces, otherwise they'll twist like that. Yeah, yeah. It goes once in a while. And the ball came back, so Chris is picking up the ball out of the channel for us. <laughs> oh, 30, 33 now. Yeah, he had a box in that, so he got a crack that. Actually, 33 after three. And. A ball that looked like a strike ball for sure leaves the line. And uh, the wood's being a little... Yeah, the uh, it's it's not a bad on, word, it's there. Got to go clean on the pitch. Or that. Oh, he caps the wood and takes out the spare. <laughs> so a mark in the fourth. And this is why they, these guys are better goals. I didn't mind. Yeah, I didn't mind it. it, it, it I, I thought that that gave him the chance to bounce it into that pin, you know, on the side of it, did. or even miss that far right. But he wanted, definitely wanted to miss right on that one. And on the fill, a disappointing four, a little, excuse me, light on the head pin, and uh, leaves the back row plus two in the front. 47 through four. Objects. He's shaking it. And He's shaking it. Is it going to go? Oh, it really wants to. It leaned. <laughs> and a 
ten box. Well, as I like to say, there's always one kid in every classroom. 57 after five for Rob Lennon. So Lennon led 254 to 250. Now has a 61 pin lead match. Chris Parkinson looking to match that. Another head pin. Chris on the head pin, and he's got the three on the left, the four on the right. The same lead we were talking about from my Monday night experience. So the, that's the nine pin back there. Yep. See it. Pin cam. Uh oh, and through the hall. All right, on this one, you tend to. Yeah, I get an answer. I always get an answer. Good shot, and he prudently went for the four, five, or an eight box. Seven. Seven box, I'm sorry. Right in front of me, too. First ball in the uh, second. We're, we're in the third string now, although the grab is still showing good. There you go. And he throws a nice first ball on the head pin. He's a 9 10. And uh, I don't know about the wood. A little chance of making it with that one, so he's you know, to think about the tip there. Okay, this is a uh, uh, left of the nine pin. Uh, I think he was trying to cap the wood and direct the ball over on my own shot. Alright, so Parkinson came in with a uh, Record of 9 and 5 is now 11 and 7 on the early se on the season. Uh, what about the league in the uh, ACSD? Every member head pin down to the 5. First ball in the third part. Leaves a head pin some wood, but that wood off of it. Uh, but there's a risk that the wood behind it may deflect it. So he, he takes it a moment to take three down that one. So there's 16 bowlers in the conference. Closes the wood on that one for his first spare in third. 16 bowlers in the conference. They all face they face everybody once, but the, there are four bowlers in your uh, division. That the Rod and Bowls are in the divisional match. Uh, but, uh, they play each other to start the season and to finish the season. Five on the field for targets, and back you did. Yep. So he leaves a three and a two. Again, we are in week two of competition in the ACST. So 30, 30 after three for, Rob, uh, for Chris, up against Rob's 33 after three, he misses a mark. For the 10, it's a nine for 39 after four. Lenahan's at 47 after four. And wants to finish big here. First ball in the fifth. Right, that's three on the right side out of the three hole. It's a tough spare to make. It's possible, but it's hard to do. You've got to hit this right in that pocket, I think. Near miss. Where he went, he just, just went by the head pin. And the head pin's got a little lean to it, so I think it's time. For the 10, but he gets 9. So 48 half. One spare for Chris Parkinson. He, he ended up leaving uh, 7 on the, on the deck there. He had a 5 kill. Like, where did he go? <laughs> Linehan with a 9 pin lead. Uh, match is tied 2 apiece. Parkinson won game 1, 125-115. Linehan game 2, 139. 125. Six spares in a strike. Now he has a lead after the first half by 9. Uh, Rob's up on the right side, his first ball in the second half. He takes 
As soon as the ball has come back, now he's waiting for one. Four balls are back there. So we have a little delay. Rob, Rob, Rob always has a quick delay. It's probably, probably for the commissioner to come and uh, help him out. Danny Finn's arrived behind us. Got he's using a lane ball. He's using a house ball. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Seven here in the middle of the third string. Move our pin cam down to here to work our way from the angle. Rob Linehan with his first ball now on lane 18 on the far right. Dan, I'm going to give you the commentary. I'm going to work on my uh, cropping. So sometimes when you take a break like that, it's, it's like in baseball when, you, when there's a rain delay. You know, you know, you know, that, uh, messing up your game a little bit, but there's no, no relief buses here. Uh, Rob didn't let him mess him up too much because he was right in the pocket. Drop six, left the diamond. Off to the left a little bit. Diamond looks like it's going to be an easy shot to make, but I don't see it made all that often. It's the worst lead you can get, but it doesn't go all the time. So you need a nine, it takes a nine. So 106 after nine boxes coming into the tent. Right in the pocket, and he's got eight. Does he have more? No. The wood looks a little interesting from this band. Okay. Yeah, you can sort of see in the. He's going to have to turn this thing into a helicopter. That's what I was thinking too. He's got to get the left side of that wood. Which he does, but uh, pretty closer to the red line, so it comes in the spot. Yeah, I know you wanted it further left. Pick up one pin. It's really lucky to get both, so I'm like, right. and that's what he does. He picks off the ninth pin for a 115 string. Back to his 115, 139, 115, 33, 369. So far for a little hand, we're going five today. Parkinson now needs 67 for the game. And he's off to the left. Takes out three. And in the pocket nicely, takes out everything but the seven pack. Just didn't carry over there. That was a great shot. Four and ten. And he goes wide right for a nine box. 57 after six. To win again, 75. Four 
Hey. No, he's right on that head. Oh. But he leaves the five ten. And be many. Like that, just like that. How oh, about it? There you go, buddy. That is beautifully done. In, a, in a game where where uh, Parkinson had maybe slipping a, a notch, that is a fantastic spin. That's one you want replay on. And uh, an eight drop for the fill. So at the seventh box. <laughs> He's a 75, but he robs 90. Mark, again, he needs a 67 half to win. That's why he's done. Never count Chris Parkinson out. Never count Rob Lynn out. Both of them can turn it on at any moment. So he's at 85 plus fall, but he robs 97. He needs 30, including this fill ball. For the next two boxes. Tie. And that's six. He's in the left. Ball, left you think the ball would break the land the, <laughs> the right handed check mark. Right there. And misses to the left. After uh, eight, uh, Chris is at 91, Rob at 97. He's going to need one mark. Need to mark this. Hey, he picks up a 10 from 101 to Rob's a 9, or 106 after one. So he needs Sorry, what? 101? 101, yep. yep. He needs 15 pins to win, so he needs a spare 5 minutes. I can move my shit here, though. Alright, let's go together. Four pins. Yep, he picks up 3 in the first ball, so this goes. Um, you've got to get it in the pocket. And he goes wide to the left. Um, so Rob will pick up this string too. Right, come on. It's an eight box, so Chris finishes with a 109 to Linehan's 115. So Rob, as I said before, will win this game. So right now, the totals Linehan 4, Parkinson 2. Some more strings to go. Okay, now since we've moved over from lane 17 and 18, you'll see Linehan next on lane 17. Rob's on the head pin real nice. Uh, he's going to get. No, the 10 pin's not going to go, so he has a 3 on the left with the 10 pin. 2, 4, and 7, and a 10. Um, some nice looking wood behind the 2 pin. And that's how he hits it, and surprisingly the wood did carry over to the 10 area, but it didn't impact the 10. So uh, he's open on the first, going for a 10. And he picks it up. Nicely done. Rob has a 10 box to start. In the second box, in the pocket on the left. He's left with a right handed, uh, right side triangle with some wood that may be very helpful. He's on the object and uh, gets a spare. Cut. Did he catch that one straight or did that come off the wood? I think it hit the wood first, right? That's no, it hit the pin first. Oh, it did? Oh, it hit the pin first, okay. For the fill. Off on the two pin, drop six, did not get a half booster, which is what that kind of looked like was going to happen. And uh, so the one, three, four, seven. And it's off the wide right and it picks up, surprisingly, the left handed, the left side pins. Uh, leaves just the head pin. Let's see. And he picks up another 10 box. So he's a 36 after 3. And it's probably saying, object, object, object. You always want to be on the object pin. That's great. 
Yeah, you would also see from the angle we have the camera that um, that they've switched. Over. See how far right he goes. Um, how far left he goes, and how far left or right he has to throw. So he picks up three on that. Those angles are make make for a different a different way, a different different uh, pinfall. Yeah. Than, than typical rollers. And uh, he's off his object. So he leaves the one seven. Will be open in this box. Uh, gets a field goal, has an eight box for 44 after four. First ball in the fifth. Let hand crosses over onto the three. One, two, and ten remain. And two ways to make that spare. You can deflect the ball off the pin or deflect the pin over. But you need to hit object, the head. Object, back. object, as it says. And another few. Two. When I had started this match with a 52 in his first half. Back there again. He's had two two one fifteens. The sandwich around a one thirty nine. Well, it's an opportunity for Chris. He was on the head pin that time, but only takes out seven. He struggled briefly in the first half of the third string. Um, seven and an eight. So just a couple head pins, and then he was right back where he was. Highlighted that one, of course, the uh, his five ten. His Woolworth special. Open note though in the first. Right, so late in He'll be uh, making his debut in the Sunday Pro League. He's uh, coming to Sunday. He joined the Blues Draft. Uh, we're seeing him up there. Exeter. Drives that one through the head pin full and grabs five. Eagle wing right. Yeah. yeah, Chris used to bowl against me frequently in the Monday night game here. Um, I still see him on Wednesday night league too, so but, uh, he's not in that Monday league anymore. But he, it was comical because we had to set a rule in that league that you could only win one of the superlatives, high, high single, high triple, or high average, because risk Chris almost always had all of them. <laughs> so the rule came down, you could win one. Nine in the second, so 17. All right. Shook his hand after that one. Didn't like that grip. But this can still go if you get it in the pocket. Really on either side, preferably the left side. It's still possible to make a spare. It's like a good strike. Yep, light strike. There's ball. He was on the right pocket for that one. Triangle fronted by two pin. And that'll be eight in the third. 25. Parkinson. Looking to match one spare from uh, Rob Linehan. Yeah, he's down to 11 pins right now on Rob, so it's early in the string. Head pin falls late. He breaks up one split for a worse split. Yeah, I'm not sure that was a helpful fall. He's going to have to play the striped pin, the striped wood. Yeah, there's two pieces back there next to the seven. Let's see, he's right there. Oh, it went in front of the seven and behind the seven, the two pieces. Yep. One behind it, one in front of it. Had the right idea. Great bid. Stevie, can I have that gator? Nine, nine there, so one for the seat coming up. Well, he picked up a pin. He was down 11, now he's down 10. He needs a mark here to catch up. 
Sure that one two miles an hour faster. Um, 30, clock at 32 going into the pins. 36 miles an hour out of the hand. Three and one split. Good bit, but uh, still a pair up there. Gives him the 410. Pretty when it goes. How's that? And is it going to go? Nope. nope. Tough side. 43 for Parkinson. Trailing four points to two. And uh, by 19 in the match, nine in the game after the four and a half. In a hand? Maybe. <laughs> now that you took them off. Yeah. Then hand now on lane 18. Thin head pin shot since the one right of the eagle wing has a good look at the. Um, yeah, it's tough. It's tough to get that corner when the, when the wood's out front. I gotta tell you, you got to shoot it. I was talking with uh, Craig Holbrook at Lee last night and uh, about the possibility of doing a show about playing wood in, in, in situations like that, different ways to think about how to, how, to, how to move that wood. Well, that's not a terribly bad idea because... Oh, if, especially if you, with someone like Craig. He's just like, well, you could talk to him for 20 minutes about it. What, what I'm thinking leader. is that if you go online, there are... I don't know if you can hear me or not. Um, if, you, if you go online, there are a number of instructional videos on... Uh, on uh, bowling Candleton, but a lot of them are really aged, and uh, um, they're they're great to watch because you get some some really good bowlers it's doing the teaching. Down a lot once we move but the um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to update some of those. The marks are fewer and far between. And Craig is, the is a great uh, yeah. bowler to use. And, uh, uh, Rob gets a uh, he's, he's, another open box. Get the uh, seven, eight, ten, and not enough wood to play. <laughs> Ten. He hooks it over to the 10 pin and uh, has a 10 box for 71 after the 7. That's not bad. In the right pocket. Uh, right now, here's the pocket for a lefty. Here's some wood that looks really, really nice. you got to worry a little bit about the... Uh, Seven pin. Yeah, I agree. Wood, because wood you could deflect the ball around the front. It. He's got the uh, two, four, and then eight back there. Let's see. And he goes off. Played the right hand side of the wood. That was that pretty. Worked. That was pretty. He's an 81 and a ball of three. That's that. Strike on spare. And that's a big, that's a big ball. Big strike. Ten fill. Nice twenty box gives him ninety one after eight. One oh one plus a fill. Did it again. Moved He's now. breaking things again. Just had to wait for the tube to fill right. on that one. That's okay. It's no okay. major malfunction on that one. First ball on the tenth on the strike. Wide right. Six down on the first. Four horsemen left as a lead. Object pin is necessary here. Hey. Three in a row. Another ten fill. Three in a row. Eleven after nine. So 121 in a ball. Parkinson to come up with 81 for the points here in the fourth string. I've seen Chris throw 104 half before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's in his capability, it's in his wheelhouse yeah, he's to a, hit away 81. He's had a lot of spirit. He hasn't, hasn't, haven't seen the strike ball yet from uh, Parkinson. Two, two strikes for a little hand on the day. He 
You said some that I thought were going to be strikes. They were right in there. Well, where did you walk in? Why not? Oh, God. God. Yeah, and another the difference between that and a strike, not, not a bunch. Well, not a lot. And, and that's a that's a kind of an ugly leave, two and two. Chris is trying to take it off the wall. Those are parallel pins, though we don't call them the parallel pins. So now I, I suppose I'll just go for the other two. Yeah, just about impossible. Oh. He almost picks it all up, but uh, nine box. So at this point, he's only nine pins under Rob, 50, 61 to 52. That's right. But he's, he really got to mark up against three marks in a row down the road here. And again, on the head pin, does not get rewarded for it. Has three on the right, one on the left. How about that one? How about that one? Picks it up. That little extra action he gets from this beat of the ball. Mine was a lot prettier. You're so pretty, Rob. I usually do. I'm usually like split city. One on a fill. Not bad. And seven. Is it going to be eight? Nope. So a seven fill. Puts him at 69 for seven, so now he's down two pins. But up against three marks. And he picks up a second that. mark. Which he really needs to do. Now we got a game. So 89 and a ball. 79. 79, 79. Keep it simple down there. Alright, so 79 and a ball. And five, so we get four. Getting closer. It's down seven pins from Rob. It's 40. This is why. Yep, he, as Bob was saying, he needs 40 pins in these two boxes. So if he gets a 10 here, he can tie with a triple strike. All right, and, uh, that's it. Much tougher. Mathematically eliminated. All right, we'll give six points now for Lady Anne. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. <laughs> this thing goes a lot singles a lot better. Well, I don't like it. You can't see the bowler right now, so no. you have to like sort of here he comes. In a ten box. Oh, you can't, you can't, you can't see uh I have to aim it differently. I want to aim it differently. Look at this. Oh. Oh. And it uh, looked like he had a good shot at making it's it from okay. the single, but it doesn't go. He's open in the tenth. And he ends up with a nine box for a 102 string. Yep. So Lennigan takes this one. See where we stand on the totals after the fourth string. Yeah, let's make the adjustment for the okay. that. So currently Rob is up on total 493 to Chris is 461. So Rob, Rob has a 32 pin lead on total right now. For now. We're going to check on the, on the official score. Okay, the bowlers are recording their scores. 461, that's what we got. Yep. That checks out. Setting up on lane 18, but I think he's good. He's gonna go, comes back to 17. So currently, 
Rob has six points per session. So total it as everybody should, uh, as I'll remind everybody is four. So if Chris can pull off a 32 pin lead, uh, 34, 34 pin oh, victory, oh. he can take total, and that's going to be very, very important. Okay, it drops down to the 4 8. You hear the league bowlers have started to arrive. Both Rob and uh, Chris will be bowling tonight. Oh! He chops the four pin. Open in the first. Linehan leads by 32 in the match. Going into the fifth string with a nine. Yeah, I think they're going to be beat after tonight because they do five strings here. Then they both come into bowl five strings for the league. They're good for Ted. Yeah. <laughs> Better than I am. Good hand on the two pin. Leaves the one, three, six, and seven. Wood is deep. Wood helped that time, but the one pin won't fall unless he hit it. Ball 4 10, 19 through 2. For Linehan. Welcome to just join us, Bob Lee from my uh, Candle Control Network, Dan Castle. We are broadcasting the ACST today. Uh, working on an agreement to uh, do matches for ACST to support the league. And if you are uh, one, of, one of our many uh, 770. Uh, subscribers, we ask you to please move over to ACST's new YouTube channel and subscribe there. That's where we're going to be posting games. There's a spare on the four horsemen split in. He's, he's right on tonight. Yeah, he's. That usually never goes here. I was thinking the same thing with that video. And hopefully, Rick Kimrowski's watching. That's the Kimrowski special as Paul is christened in. Well, 36% of the time they do go. Even in places like where the house is tough. Well, seven, seven on that fill? Yeah, okay. seven on the fill. Nice split. It's makeable. He gets on it, he's off a little. That's, that's one of those if you hit the head pin, you're probably going to get it. As long as you don't put it through straight. But if you don't hit that, then you ain't going to get it. So, like I said, I encourage everyone to go over and visit the ACST's new channel. It's Linehan takes 10 in the fourth, 46. Um, Atlanta Campin Seagulls Tour. Subscribe to it. A lot of people watch without subscribing. I think a lot of people watch without, without ever logging into YouTube. It makes an enormous difference. It's, it's no cost to you as, as, a, as a viewer. But what happens is if you get to a thousand subscribers, then you can, then, then the money uh, the money from the ads goes to the producer, and it makes a huge difference to organizations like ACST and or the Campin Bowling Network. Good hand for the spare is wide. There's a lot of great matches posted on there in all of the divisions. That's right. And, um, uh, you know, uh, got some very close and uh, very exciting finishes in some of these. You know, no one used it when it's put it on. So, 54 half for Linehan. Chris Parkinson looking to uh, catch up. He start, started this one 32 behind in the match. Needs 54 to keep up with Rob. Linehan start. Blast the head pin again. Head pin is doing him no favors tonight. <laughs> yeah, usually it, you, get, you get a spare leave about 40% of the time. And then 40% of the time you get a split like this. 10% uh, maybe in the gray. 10% of the time you get a strike. That's the difference. I, I'm a little surprised on this. He went to the left hand. I figured he'd go to the right and try to let uh, Wood over. <laughs> it's doing uh, it now. Uh, and that worked. That moved yeah, over, but went in front of the sun. Oh, it wasn't angled right. Nine in the first for Parkinson. Yeah, so this year on uh, ACST and, and, and uh, on the Get Up we're going to be featuring all sorts of matches. Yeah, another. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> That was looking like a 410 for a minute, but uh, yeah, yeah wood, that, I don't know if that wood is angled right. Um, I think you got to hit it on the left side and it may come off the wall and not, not hit the attack pin, but it ought to. Oh! Uh, no hit it! Hit it on That's the left side. No, he hit it pretty, pretty much on the, on the red line. A little bit left. But I think it might have needed to be a little farther left, but it did come off the wall and go around the team. That's 
10, 19, 2. At this point, if I'm getting the head pin that much and getting that you know, much bad luck, I'm about ready to throw the ball over here. It doesn't help. No, it's not legal either. But... I think it is like, you know, across the, the uh, lobby. I'm just trying to give people ideas. But it's really frustrating when you know your ball's on, you're getting that hit and, and you're getting split up. Split. Eagle wing here, Parkinson just left. Open in the third. And that'll put him up below Rob on his string. They were tied for two. 29. Match was at 493 to 461. So four. Well, I've never seen this before. That's a square lead, though. Although I think there's some risk that that wood in the back may not help. This time. One spare to match Linehan's spare here in the fifth string. Seven eights. Bonus. Forty seven through four. He has good wood for this one, I think. It's a little yeah. tricky with that front wood, but that back wood is lined up nicely if he can get to it. It's in for the spare. Oh, geez. Denied. Poke the wood in the eye. There was 57's half, a three pin lead in the game. Linehan leads by 29 in the match. Let's see on the scoreboard. Oh, scoreboard. And bowlers move over to lane 18. And, and open in the fifth. It is right on the. Is that gone? Shaking eight pin will not fall. Plenty of room to miss, and in the head takes advantage of it. Sixty four through six plus ball. In the fill. Four pins. That one went through the two hole. Nice to off and half it. Beautiful bit. Wow. It's like a little half blister, but it, a lot of times when you hit that two hole, not two hole, you get get some spray out in the corner. Like that. He made, he made a great bid on that one. 10. There you go. 78 through 7. He's 8 over. And a hand. 571 through 47 boxes. Okay, getting some. Uh, I don't know if that was necessarily helpful. 170. Nine and ten. The wood's decent on the right side. Not so helpful on the left. Get the head pin to see what happens. How about that? How about that? It went up over and bounced right by the second. Unbelievable. On the inside. On the inside. Unbelievable. Nope, nope. So. Eighty-seven. Then he needs twenty plus six hundred. Series. Got ahead by that time. Usually helps when you do that. But not this time. The 
it's really interesting here. The, the instant object and the baby. It's going to go going to be right on it. Oh, no. Right off. It was right behind. The wood was behind the one there. Yeah. And right in the eye. Yeah. I think it'd be. Oh, well, that could go. It could. It could. It but it won't. All right, so Linan will need a mark for a 600 game. Oh, thread it half goes to right. Okay, route 39 that time. To right. Where's route 39 go? Let's find out. Leaves the door open for Chris. Yep. At least two points. Ten, ten. for 106. Uh, I think 108. That's not what this says up on the screen. Ah, uh, you're right, 106. Yeah. All right. Score correction in the ninth box there. 106 and a 599 total. Parkinson. Late fall on the head pin. See how it looks like six, four good pieces. Four good pieces of wood back here. He does. It's, How's it's he going to play him? spray and pray position. I'm going to hit the red line on that front piece of wood. There. That would be four to the left. All right. So he needs a, he's a 50 half to win the game. Pinning, obviously, is going to matter. Yeah, pin, pinning is key right now. You don't want to get fancy. At least get the two points. Okay, I'll need, I'll probably need a mark at this point. 40, 40, 40 in four boxes. 40 to tie, 41. You need some mark to win. Boy, that's so frustrating. Is that right on it? The Santa Candle pin, you really have to deal with it. Cut that pin over. That's all he's got. For the ball, but beautiful man. Yep, nice try. That's excellent. Half, half time with the head pin. No, it's going to be a striker. It's going to give you a nice spare. The other half, there's a good chance it's going to be a spare. Well, sometimes when you, you have a powerful bowler like Chris, it's a very solid ball. Um, sometimes you're a little too full, but they're much more like that than much out. But that's countered with the fact that he gets a lot of pin action. Chris gets a ton of pin action on his ball. So he's at uh, 75 after 7, uh, down to 3 from Rob. First ball in the 8th. And again, on a head pin, again yeah. a split. Another red number. Yep. So if, if you pull in uh, Brian's family amusement, Millis, the uh, Scoreboard will show a red number when you get a split. And, uh, Chris has been running a lot of red up there. So he gets eight on that box. Or eight, no, that was a strike, or spare attempt. I'm sorry, this is a third ball here. And he does get eight on that box. I'm sorry if I could have jinxed him. So 87 to 83. Chris has an 83. He's down four pins. Lost mark to win this string. It's 23. Tied 24 for the win. How about that? Okay. Well, he's on the head pin. He didn't get as much as he should have, but at least they're all together this time. This bundle's a five. Uh, certainly convertible, but only in the, in the low 30s. Um, on the object pin. You kind of have to throw a strike ball on, on the corner pin on those. It will just, go. Just two win on that. So pick up the other two. Eight box. 91 after nine to Linehan's 96. Okay, how about 16 for the win on the last one? Spare six. Off on the six pin, and 
but I'm, I call that my alternate head pin because sometimes I go through spells where that's the head pin for me, and that's when I get my first spell. So I've gotten good at throwing this. And he's on it. Oh, and, no. Uh, Come on. Really? Yeah. All right, so. Not a kind. Not a kind day for this box, this string anyway. Linehan was great. Chris is throwing a really good ball. I, I, I think he's just the luck of the draw right now. 99. So uh, there you have it, our final score, 599 to 560. Point 12. We put 12 points as Linehan wins game five and four points for the total. That'll do it. Now we're going to get ready for the league, and uh, we're not going to film that. <laughs> Bob Lee, Dan Castle. Congratulations, to Rob Linehan. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the lanes.